All right, now we're gonna talk about the nine millimeter Polish Radom handgun. It's a single stack, semi-automatic, single action handgun used by Polish forces and then later by German forces after they occupied Poland. Very well-made handgun. It's got a couple unique design features that you see today and handguns are on the market. Now, as far as disassembling it, as usual, take the magazine out first. We're gonna clear the chamber. And once again, it has a magazine release in the same location as the 1911 or the Browning High Power. Magazine comes out, visually inspect the chamber. Now, it kinda gets a little tricky. What looks like a thumb safety here, you actually lock the slide to the rear using this piece that's actually your slide lock for disassembly purposes. Now I'm gonna push out my slide stop. Kind of in the same manner as the Browning High Power of the 1911, but it's a little bit more tricky in terms of its engagement with the recoil spring guide. So again, start pushing it out. Let me get my tool here. Once again, not as straightforward as the one on the 1911 or the High Power. You have to pry it to a certain point, then you have to rotate it, kind of get in the sweet spot, and then it'll pop out. And I'll show you why that is in a minute. At this point, you can disengage your disassembly lever, and the upper will come off the gun. Now, one of the interesting things about the Radom is it's the first known handgun that I know of, or my, son, my buddy Ken Hackathorn knows of, that has a full length guide rod. In order to disassemble it, you rotate it and then pull it out the bottom barrel comes out much like the Browning High Power, and there is field stripping the Radom. Now, like I said, first handgun that we know of for service use that has a full length guide rod. Another little feature you see on it has this little dish or scout, so if you have a stuck magazine in the Radom, you can pry it out, which is something that you see today on custom 1911s and whatnot that are being built in this era. One of the downsides to the Radom, Single stack magazine that is not easily field strippable for cleaning. It's essentially pinned on the base and there's no way to really get the follower out to clean it, which is really kind of a ding on the gun from a design point of view. On a closing note, the Radom was one of the earliest pistols, service pistols that is, with the spur hammer, which was later copied for the 1911. You also saw it on the early Browning High Power, but we see this is carried on probably even more so than the other features, such as the full length guide rod cool gun. Once again, you like World War II German service pistols, this is a critical one to have in your collection. Okay, Radom's up next. Go ahead and load it. All right, here we go. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Four point nine, a little yeah, slower. Yeah, a little bit slower. The, the front sight, very hard to. This one's got a little bit of bluing wear, and it's very hard to see. And frankly, up on the white steel, it, I kind of lost it. Yeah, and uh, although you didn't shoot it too bad, again that single action trigger, and it's a nice handling pointing gun. The sights is the big handicap. The big weak link on this gun. Imagine if I had the sights of the P thirty eight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's see how the P thirty five does. Got it. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.